Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drury with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And uh, I was surprised to see a recent study that came out showed that 74% of Americans have some sort of digestive problem, digestive discomfort, reflux, heartburn, diarrhea, constipation, irritable bowel, colitis, uh, diverticulitis, uh, Crohn's disease. And uh, that surprised me, 74%, that's three out of every four people in the United States have digestive issues. That's over 70 million people just in the U.S. It's crazy. Well, let's talk about that for a minute. Uh, we've had people come here from all over the world uh, to get help for digestive problems. So think about this. Why is it that two people can live in the same house, eat the same food, but yet one has digestive issues, one does not. One has heartburn, one doesn't. One gets constipated, one doesn't. Uh, they live in the same environment, same stressful, stress factors, uh, ingesting the same food, but yet one body reacts completely different than the other body. So what is the variable? What is different? If they're eating the same food in the same environment, what's different? Well, first of all, we're dealing with two different bodies, right? So obviously there's something going on, not the food, but the person, okay? So what could be the variable? Well, the stomachs pretty much all look the same. The livers pretty much look the same. Colons look the same. The organs themselves are designed the same. So what is now, what's the variable? What could be the difference? Well, the only difference is, is what controls the stomach. What produces the acid in the stomach? What causes the colon to move at a certain rate? What causes uh, your digestive system to absorb vitamins, to remove the fluid, to do every process that happens throughout the whole course from ingestion to elimination is controlled by one thing, the nerve system. The nerve system is the only variable. My nerve system is different from your nerve system. Now, if you have two people living in the same household, they eat the same food, live in the same environment, same stresses, then the only variable is the nerve systems producing a different result in one to the other. What could cause that? Well, if the nerve system's functioning as it's supposed to, 100% mental impulse from the brain to the stomach, the gallbladder, the liver, the small intestine, the large intestine, all the way through the whole entire digestive process, if all the messages get there at 100%, then your body works by design. You produce the proper amount of, of acid and your digestion happens at the proper rate and you absorb the proper fluid and everything moves as it's supposed to. You get all the nutrients you should out of your food. But if there's something wrong, something's interfering with the nerve system, to any one section of the digestive system, then the whole process starts to work abnormally. It starts to malfunction. You start to develop digestive symptoms as a result. What we have found at the Upper Cervical Spine Center is there's only, there's one place, only one place you can have that can interfere with the messages from your brain to any one or multiple parts of your digestive system, which can interfere with your digestion. And if we can find it, and if you have a problem there, if we can remove it, then all of a sudden you get 100% of the proper messages from your brain to your stomach, your kidneys, your gallbladder, your liver, your small intestine. And so things start to work normal again. They start to function as they were designed to, maybe as they used to do in your, your case. Now, I hope that we can agree that there's not a single digestive issue ever that were the result of a drug deficiency. Okay, so taking a Prevacid or a Nexium or uh, even a Pepto-Bismol is not going to fix your digestive problem. It never will. It just masks it temporarily, uh, while at the same time it could potentially be creating a bigger problem, something bigger down the road. So taking the medication, although it may give you some temporary relief, we, we can agree that it's not ever going to fix anything. In order to fix it, the problem is something on the inside of you that's created it. And so if we can find that cause, correct the cause, remove the cause, then things can start to work as intended and they can actually heal naturally on their own. So if you have digestive issues or you have a family member, someone that has digestive problems, do yourself a favor. Try to find the cause. If you can find the cause, then you can nip it in the bud and live a normal life for the rest of your life. So 
if you've never been to an upper cervical chiropractor, find one near you.